the first thing we're going to do today is how to see how we check um, our long division using multiplication. So when we had things, and I'm just going to take it simple, when we had just this, if we had four pieces and we divided them up into groups of two, we saw we got two. And I checked that because I knew that two times, and we can think of the time sign there, two equals four. So it equal the number in here. Remember, we see and then we check. Do you remember that big C that I had? So we see. We talked about it really being the eyeball, right? Seeing and then checking using the opposite. So we're going to do that now. It's no difference when there is a remainder. So let's take a look at how we do that. So now we'll take that same one, but except we're going to make it as five. And so if I have five divided by two, we saw that it was two. We can make two groups because two groups of two equaled four. So if I took those out of there, I was left with one, and then I put a remainder of one. So now how do we check that? Well, same part. We take the answer, two, and we multiply it by the divisor, two, that equals four, plus I have one left over, and that equals five. So if it equals the number in your box, then you are correct. So let's go, go to one that's a little bit harder. So let's take um, the 13 and we're gonna divide it by four. So if I have 13 pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I make groups of four, I can do that and I can make one, two, three groups. So three groups of four equals 12. I take that away from it and I'm left with one so I put it as my remainder, and then how do I check? Take my quotient, three, and I multiply it by the divisor, the four. I get 12, and I add the remainder, and I get a total of 13. Okay, I hope that helps for you so that you can check some of the answers.